this video, I'll briefly introduce the cloud-based bookmarking tool called Digo. Digo is a tool that utilizes the Web 2.0 technologies, which simply means that with Digo one can create publicly visible or shared content. Generally speaking, tools that use these technologies have come to be called uh, social tools. So Digo is actually a social bookmarking tool because of its shared nature. So let's see some of the things that can be done using Digo. I guess first and foremost, Digo is a bookmarking tool. So one can simply, using the, the Digo toolbar, simply bookmark. And I'll just save that. And it will now be, that bookmark will now be in my library, University of Delaware, right there. Oh. Now one interesting feature, or a very useful feature of Digo is that these bookmarks are not stored on my local computer, but rather in a cloud somewhere, so the bookmarks can be accessed from anywhere. So I'll never find myself at work trying to figure out or remember what the URL was for a, a, a web page that I bookmarked from my home computer. What's more interesting though is that I can then put this bookmark, I can create a public group or a group that's publicly accessible. I will add members to that group and I can then put this bookmark and share it to that group. Now I have a group here, boom, I share it there, save. So now all members of that group will be able to share or be able to see that bookmark. So I'll go to my UDA Digo group and we see the University of Delaware page that I just shared. Users could click on, group members could click on that and they'll all see this page. Now to take this a step further, it's possible for me to publicly annotate uh, this web page. So, for instance, I could highlight a portion of this page, and that highlight will be publicly viewable by all members of the group. In addition, I can put a comment on there. I'll add a sticky note. This is something to be discussed by class. And I want to share that annotation to the group as well so that all the members of the group can see that. Okay, so then this is a sticky note that I can move around and I'll leave it right there because I want students to come along comment on that. So all I do is mouse over that and I can see comments. I can add another comment. And it's going to the UDA Digo group. Boom. I'll save it. And there you go. I have two comments. So using Digo, one could imagine there is a web content, a web page somewhere that I'd like to highlight certain sections of and initiate student conversation or collaboration on that portion of the document. I'll be able to visit, I'll visit this page and view their comments. They'll be able to view one another's comments. So we have true collaboration on specific items, specifically chosen items from web content. In the videos that follow, I will be introducing or showing how to install the Digo toolbar, which is up here. I was using, uh, I'll be showing how to create the group, the Digo group, which class members can be a part of. I'll be showing how to highlight and how to annotate, which is fairly straightforward. And that's it for this video.